it's really important to make sure that we So everybody on the should have be able to see the slide and all that. And when you launch your presentation, is this the you're starting from slide one here? Yeah. It should I be open up? Yeah, so then it And then But they should have everything. Um they should be able to just to see like the second display. Okay. How many can Yeah. Um so it says participants three. Is that uh -huh. okay? Great. Can you can you hear us, Avant? Are we already on audio? Yeah. Is there a way to see? Um. Yes. Yeah. Just yeah. Like this. Yeah. Okay. They should be. Um. Yeah. 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 Um, it looks like they're in two yeah. yeah, I think we want them both to be in the backseat. Right? Yeah. Knowledge. Is it um, one of the people? Mm -hmm. Yep. Hi, Yvonne. Hi, can you hear me? Okay. And loud and clear. Let me see if you can see me as well. I need to prepare the face. Yes. Backlit. There you go. This is good thing. Cool. Good time. So let me just let me just uh clean yeah. that up and then I should yeah, be able perfect. to join. Okay, we're just trying to get you up on the screen over the slides so that folks can see you. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. Sure. And do you want it in the corner or like a full screen? <clears throat> I think probably in the corner. In so the corner. <clears throat> maybe if we get yeah. or if there's like some sign kind of split screen, I don't know. They've gotten this fancy about the um split screen. I don't know about split screen. That's all right. I that's this is how I work with IT mm -hmm. colleagues. I just you know I get a little greedy and then you just tell me when to stop. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's how, split screen. Oh, I just meant if um if Zoom has a, a way to have the presenter visible with her video and and the slides. Um that like a layout. Good, yeah, that that's a good question. I'm not sure. Um, like when people start sharing, if it will override their video and just share their screen. Mm -hmm. Um, I do want to make this bigger though, because it's there's more. Yeah, the, and it doesn't have to be even. I'm just thinking about maybe. Oh, and there's Julita. Hi, Julita. Hello, Melissa. Hello, Joseph. Hello, Jonathan. I hope I'm audible. You are audible. audible. <laughs> Thank you. It must be visible what? too. Uh, <laughs> we have Joseph here with us too. Oh, uh, yes. Um, please. So I'm relieved. Um, I don't have to speak for either of them. Okay, we'll again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks like you, this might be, you have to, if you, when you want them on the screen, just drag just it off to the side. Yeah. Okay. And then it should pop up there. Ah, uh, so this is the second monitor. Or this is the primary one. Yeah, this is the primary one. Okay. And different notes. And okay. Hopefully that's a good size. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so we can ship them around a bit faster. Yeah. Just in case they have text. Just because it's a little more interesting that they can see them actually speaking. No, and if it's just one camera at the moment, I'll touch them. Like this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you toggle between these two options, or in three, this one shows like everybody who's in a call. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure that it looks like I can't Um, 
small. <clears throat> so this shows everybody in the grid. This is, I'm not sure. This might only, I think this only shows a row of people and then you have to flip through different pages of them if you want to see like the first three and then like the okay. next three. Okay. Let me just maybe shorten that to so that it only shows two. You want, okay, two. Automatically just, I presume it would prioritize the people speaking, but yeah. Um, Bart, do you know if there's a way to get only two of the people on the screen? We have two virtual three. presenters, so we're just wondering the best way to have um, them speaking while their slides are up. And then I guess at the end, the audience will want to see the whole room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and actually, I wasn't realizing, but it might be nice for Yvonne and Julie to also see. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, good morning. Hello. Just the oh, oh yeah. so we had a, <laughs> an audience member. To come to the session. <laughs> oh, sorry, <laughs> you ruined my day. <laughs> if we've got 10 minutes. Like, you know, you yes, they well, we're yeah, thoroughly I brought up support. support, I guess. <laughs> yeah, if you can do five, none, get your participants, and okay. then like assuming they're done with the cameras on, yeah. Um, right. That, yeah, that's fair. And then, is there a different slide layout where it would the screen would deal with like them having <clears throat> presented with their slides? With their slides. Like yeah. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to stop the share. Okay. Um, and then they can share their screen. Um, and then you'll probably have to drag Zoom over. Okay, that's still yeah. That's yeah. what we were doing. I just didn't know if they had a built-in layout that gave you a video. Video. The end. Yeah. If you're doing your slides and if you're doing slides here and their video, you just have to kind of like you know drag it on top. Sure. Of yep. You. Great. That works. Um, yeah, if right they now, share their slides, would that make it better, or that might be a bandwidth issue? Um, uh, it shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Um, I mean, it's the same slide deck. I'm just yeah. wondering if that would give us the ability to have the slides on video out more <laughs> seamlessly. But it, it would probably be a little more seamlessly if they ran slides, and then you can just do like the split view with like slides next to the camera. Let's do that. You yeah. want to do that because I need really. Yeah, three slides. From, from the room that you'll mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, Yvonne, are you in a place where you can share the slides instead of us? Hey, Turner, you know, can you hear me? Yes. No, no. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, um, the tech center, I'm helping. I'm trying to get Yvonne to unmute oh, him. We have a lot of support. You all are the best. Wow. Hold on. Let me just. We did. We have successfully heard them both. So. Uh, okay, great. So you're just working on the, um, the slides. Yeah, we're just figuring out the best slide share okay, um, no. strategy. Thank you for your help. Yeah, thank you, Tom. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think basically she's going to share slides instead of here. We can just try. Do that onto that screen, and when she does the slide share, you'll see. Okay. Hello, you want to change the view? The name of what I do? Good. Yeah, my name. Okay. Yeah. Well, if I if I can connect to the slides, then like you can change the video. And we'll be changing the rooms, you know. Yeah, so my yeah, yeah. yeah. you think you're not you here. Yeah. Um, that would say speak with her and just show the one person who's yeah. talking. And is there a way to show her talking while the slides are still up for the room? Yeah, so once you share slides, you'll see slides in the camera. Okay. Also. Okay. Um, but some of that you, that you can't change until she's actually sharing. Oh, yeah. Yes, you're doing that. Yeah. Okay. yeah. There'll be like a uh,
Hey, Vaughn, can you hear me still? <laughs> I didn't put it in the Yes, can you hear me? Yes. I was wondering maybe if you could share the slides from your side, you were Julita, um, because that will allow us to have the your video feed up next to your slides. Let me let me bring that up. That's fine. <laughs> Hello, Yvonne. Are you sharing? Presumably, over just follow. Okay. So you see said, your so we sent support Yeah. And you want to commit to support um, so can you see my screen? You see is it can you see it now? Okay. And um, yes, Yvonne, for my side, I said, uh, the boys, um, of when I was all the like, um, and for the 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 and the connecting process in no. the next year. So, um, yeah, thinking a little bit further with like the last study that was happening, that had been very sharing with this. Yeah, yeah. We're sure. doing that one. Despite having few entrepreneurs who are focusing on PTMting alone, as in 100% dedication to the PTMting business, but we have noted that these entrepreneurs are doing business diversification, meaning that apart from the PTMting itself, they are also adding two, three, four businesses which are in line with sanitation. Mm -hmm. So for those that are doing business diversification, what we have noted is that the ones that are in Malawi are able to see good results of the, out of the business diversification as compared to the ones uh, that are in Kampala. Asking the entrepreneurs why they would want to add more businesses to the PTM thing business, the main issue that we are coming out was for them to create a balance, specifically considering that the PTM thing business sometimes is aligned to season, so it's a business of seasonality. So for those dry days, they should be able to cover up by uh, selling other sanitation products, except for example, uh, Sato products, for example, uh, latrine upgrade, latrine constructions, those ones do beef up the PTMting business so that at the end of it all, they should be able to get revenue, whether during uh, the good season or the bad season of the uh, PTMting business. Looking at the cost drivers for the PTMting business, we've noted that issues to do with the staffing is the highest cost driver for the PTMting business. So for a person to engage into PTMting as a business, it's not something that one can do independently at all costs. He or she will need support from two or three other uh, people to join him on board. So these people that are joining the PTMTers are the ones that are adding more cost to the PTMting business. So if we are to start a PTMting business, the first cost driver that we should look seriously into is the issue of uh, staffing. And apart from staffing, rental costs. So you remember we said that uh, there are some who are doing better in business, but they don't own their own means of transportation. They, they always lent from someone else. So rental 
costs are also another cost driver for the pretempting business. Just mentioning a few from this graph, considering there are also others which are equally important, which the entrepreneur cannot go without, let's say, for example, the dumping fees, which are charged at the treatment plants, the dumping plants that uh, these entrepreneurs do dump the sludge. So as I've uh, explained already, vehicles are generally the second highest cost driver. We have looked at staffing, yes, being the first one, but the second one in both cases, Branda, but also Kampala, vehicle is bringing more cost to the pit emptying business. But unfortunately, it's a cost that uh, the pit emptiers cannot run away from. Mm -hmm. So at this point in time, I would want to give it back to Jonathan to uh, proceed Good. from there. Thank you. Um, in the interest of time and to give everybody as much time as possible to prepare their pitches, could you go on to the next section and finish the presentation, please? Thank you. Alicia, just tell me control from your end. <laughs> Might have better luck than myself. No worries, you want on it. Okay, so I think we can move to the next slide. Okay, so I'll, I'll take this. Uh, and here we're really looking based on all that Julita has presented around what the profile looks like, but also looking at what strategies both from external support, but also strategies around that the entrepreneurs themselves have taken on in terms of increasing their coverage, in terms of you know, being able to reduce their costs. So let's first zoom in on the external support that, have, that has been provided. Like I mentioned earlier, several things have been done around um, you know, giving of commercial loans, giving them equipment, giving them vehicles, so many things that have really been done. So while, yes, the entrepreneurs did mention that, yeah, the commercial support was deemed useful for many of the pit empty entrepreneurs, and it definitely contributed to their growth when it comes to aspects around customers and revenue, but that does not necessarily translate into better profitability. And then we also, of course, have tried several interventions around, you know, voucher systems or subsidy models. And still the MTR said, you know what, this is great for, you know, me being able to get customers and for being able to be put out there in terms of client acquisition, revenue generation. The only challenge is that every time you run a subsidy model, every time you have a voucher, you kind of have to fix the price. Now, when you don't have that in place, then pricing becomes very problematic. Because if I'm a customer, and the very first time I interface with the pit emptiers is that a subsidy sort of model that has been created, then when this is taken away, it becomes very difficult for me to accept the new price. So the entrepreneurs definitely did struggle when it comes to aspects around profitability. Then like we mentioned, licensing and market regulation didn't have much impact on the business performances. Like, like Judith had mentioned earlier, to the client, the issue of whether you're licensed doesn't really come through and people don't really ask that question. They don't, they're not asking you, can I first see your license before they are able to give you a job? They're really looking at aspects around how well you do the work and what price are you doing it for? So while licensing and market regulation is important, it didn't really have much impact on the businesses. So the entrepreneurs have also been able to adopt their own strategies around how they can drive demand with varying degrees of success. We've seen them, uh, their operators, when it's not a busy season, they work as freelance promoters. Some of them have taken to hiring, you know, marketing people. They are giving commissions to local agents. Um, they found that word of mouth was the most preferred method of being able to get in clients. So people are doing door-to-door -door campaigns, they're distributing flyers. You know, they have their people within the communities to say, if you need this service, just call this number. And then of course, you're also still, we're still having some support that's still coming through, you know, with government extension workers and other NGOs really around awareness campaigns. Next slide. 
Then when it came to what they are doing around keeping their costs down. So as you saw from the slide that was showing the biggest cost drivers, staff was one of those. So we've seen that the MTRs have adopted uh, using their staff to double in different roles. So for example, the driver would still be an MTR. So you don't have to hire like a separate driver. A driver, you also have variable and flexible salary arrangement uh, arrangement. So some staff are maybe contract. If we have a lot of work, then we'll bring you on board. But if we don't have that much work, then maybe we won't be able to hire you. So you have some of those uh, variables, aspects when it comes to fuel, and this was really around the, the transport costs, clustering the orders or allowing the operators to find extra jobs, particularly for some of the, 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 the category that like takes on smaller jobs, three to six barrels. So if I have a job and I've called them, then maybe they'll move around and say, oh, does anyone else want their toilets emptied? And then they're able to sort of uh, cluster those orders. We've talked about diversification, even when it's working differently in either Kampala or Blantyre, it's also one thing that we found the entrepreneurs are doing sort of keep their costs down. And of course, no job is turned down. So somehow within the business, different business models, you still have all the customers uh, being served. Yes. Uh, and then, uh, so this is this will really be the conclusive slide, even as we move into you know the pictures. Jonathan, should I go ahead, or do you want? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, so even. What do you think? Yeah. After the pictures or now? So I, yeah. So I think I, I can I can finalize this, and then we can get into the pictures. So okay. really, what, have we, what, is, what is our takeaway from this study? There is no ideal profile of a sanitation entrepreneur, as we've seen, and successful business models can actually be seen in all the different categories. The highest aspiration for many of the pit MTRs is to own their own vehicles. And then one of the other things we found when it came to what type of external support can be provided is to have new entrepreneurs shadow existing businesses to be able to pick up quickly on some of those you know, best practices. And then of course, external support should concentrate mainly on some of the systemic issues around infrastructure, around you know, transport financing, around enforcement, and allow the businesses to grow as organically as possible and just have the market forces in play. And then you'll see the ones that survive, survive, and then the ones that don't are able to fall off. But either way, then you're able to create a sustainable sanitation market for these businesses. Yes, so over to you. Thank you very much for the attention. Uh, those are our contacts. If you need information about this study, please feel free to reach out to either Julita or myself or our colleagues, Melissa, Anna, and Jonathan, who are in the room there as well. Otherwise, thank you very much and good luck on your pitches. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. thanks both. Sorry. Um, just looking at the time, I think we should try and start the pitches. What do you think, at quarter to 10? So if I give you all 10 more minutes to finish off, your pictures and Melissa and I will come around the room um, and answer any clarifying questions that you've got. Um, yeah, and if you've just arrived, I've got a really special task for you. <laughs> <laughs> <Right. laughs> so, 
Did you put the criteria on the screen? But they're not really actually they're not really the criteria. Okay, they're just they're more like driving points for them to they would say just take that and listen. So I thought it's that yeah. So okay. Yeah. Okay, guys. Um let's go for it. And does anyone want to volunteer to go first? I don't think so. Yes. <laughs> Are you volunteering to go first? Yeah, you want to go first? Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have some judges. And then I think it's one night. Maybe one night. Yes. Yeah. Could you have one day to go? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, hello. I don't know if this is in the art. It should be. Yes, that's what it was. Oh, great. Hello. Uh, I'm uh, my name is Ruthie, and you didn't meet me earlier in the session because I. Um, I, I like I lead a very busy life because I'm a private investor, <laughs> and I am looking to diversify my portfolio by investing in a pit emptying business. And I understand that there are some presentations uh, today, so whichever group is group one or A, uh, I believe I am to hand over the microphone. <laughs> and we look forward to hearing your pitches. I believe you've already introduced yourselves. Uh -huh. Oh, the other judges. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, Joseph Magoya. Uh, I'm a community member, so also of great interest uh, to listen to the speeches that are going to be presented here, looking at the welfare of the community that I'm representing in this uh, meeting. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Um, Saib Samiaga. Uh, I'm here from the from the city authority. I'm representing city authority, and I'm so much interested to see how these uh, pitches are going to be beneficial to uh, to the public, to the people that we are leading. Thank you. And yeah, Judge, if you want to pick, you're going to go first. And we do also have a virtual. Pitch oh. from the group online. So we've got four. Great. So we should probably stick to that one minute. Yeah. That's yeah. important. Okay. Who would you like to hear from first? Who wants to go first? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll put a timer on. So okay. 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 Then we have a little more. Or do you want to be quite blessed tonight? That's what I heard. Yeah. Hello, good morning. morning. My name is Trina um, from Uganda, and we are a group of six people. Uh, uh, we are professionals, both engineers, technologists, economists, and I like an environmentalists. So, uh, our city of choice was Kampala, and name of business, Buyonjo. Buyonjo is a local name in Uganda, and it means clean, uh, clean toilet, clean pit all the work around it. Things to include uh, target customer groups. We are looking at informal settlements because Kampala has a population of about 6 million people and 60% of that population is about 2.4, which is all staying in informal settlements. So we felt we have a bigger group that can be able to do business with. And all these don't have storage network and they all don't have formal houses. And they don't have even the money to do the expansion of the training whenever they are full. So, the equipment and vehicle ownership, uh, given the issues of access to informal settlement, we are looking at the galloping equipment. And currently, what is being used, um, they do a lot of manual when it comes to the empty. So, we intend to have it more improved and improve the sanitary conditions by connecting the pipe direct from the galper into the the, 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 the truck on the, the tanks just stay in the truck and we just connect without uh, carrying from the pit 
to the truck. And uh, we also intend to buy tricycles and also improve them by building them up. So uh, right now what is there, they just open and they just cover with polythene to move around the city, taking to the empty chairs. Okay, and final thought. Yes, final thought, marketing would have, uh, of course, uh, uh, pick briquettes from the, the disposal area and market them so that we are able to or catch a market and premiers can be able to pick them at a cheaper price and hope uh, that people who are we are emitting for at a cheaper price. Right now, Kampala uses charcoal and uh, the president is against cutting trees. So if we market through the briquettes, we'll be able to get more customers. Operated by two star and that's it. <laughs> Yeah. 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 All right. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Uh, so, RISE, the business that we represent, is an integral part of the community in Blantai already. Uh, as all of you know, we've been we've been serving very high quality services already to over twenty percent of customers, largely institutions and high income households in Blantyre. So we have been providing consistent, high quality, dignified services, but we're only occupying twenty percent of the market today. Um, as a service provider, as a business owner, and as an enterprise. We believe all we need is a little bit of a support because we've already established that we are doing really well and we're providing high quality services. What we want to do is expand our customer base. We've done a quick analysis of what the opportunity is to expand our markets and we've looked at uh, particularly households that today have online pits. And I think it's a highly underserved market today that has very poor quality services. Um, and I think there's a huge opportunity on two fronts to provide better quality, dignified services to these communities and to create decent jobs. So we want to be able to, and we think with the government, the support of the government, we've come up with a business plan where we know by the fifth year, with a small subsidy of $20 per capita per household and some support in the form of a service contract where we can organize demand in these low income areas, we should be able to generate a 12% return on investment to the investors at the end of year five, and we really like all we need is $20 per capita for these locations and a group, um, uh, an aggregation of demand in the form of the service contract. And you know, we can already do an awesome job. So I think <laughs> um, we just need the opportunity to be able to cater to this underserved market. Uh, we also expect to generate net new in uh, livelihoods of, to the tune of about 400 in just in the next five years of decent work with highly professionalized uh, support and services. So we appeal to the government, to the community, that we are already a part of your community to be able to give us the opportunity to give the same quality of services to the people today that don't have don't have it. So let's rise up to the challenge of the internet. Even though it's Phone call. It is one minute. <laughs> <laughs> Which I didn't explain to the first two. <laughs> cool. Um, so to follow up, we are a new company, um, but with that, we think with new comes a lot of newer, more dignified services for all. Um, we want to target those small businesses that currently still have a lot of difficulties with both um, having their own uh, equipment as well as having safe equipment and service delivering those services uh, more efficiently and more and better to uh, those populations uh, across all of Kampala. So our goal is to first start, our first step is to work with 50 small businesses um, within uh, Kampala and um, provide them with 
payment installment plans without any interests to rent their own vehicles. And whatever vehicles they want, we will get for them. Um, uh, and uh, how we want to make sure that that is uh, doable is by having private investors support us to get to that point. Um, and uh, what we want to do is have those um, uh, the staff of these uh, companies to have worker protector rights. We want to provide financial support for them, marketing and demand, uh, and work with uh, the government and the local uh, sector to really support the promotion um, for those services and those small uh, organizations. Um, so uh, really, we are here to provide capacity building and a certified service uh, for those small uh, business owners that already exist uh, and, and provide at scale um, uh, and better managed services across uh, the areas. Thank you. Okay, and we've got the fourth entry online uh, and it's been written out. So just going to put it on the screen so everyone can really? see it. Love it. <laughs> yeah. nice. Thank you very much to our virtual group for staying engaged with us. We've put your pitch up on the screen for the judges to consider. Are you supposed to read it? <laughs> you are welcome to now that you've all gone. Big idea. <laughs> And we're also yeah. 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 Okay, whilst the judges are deliberate, I just want to thank you all very much for coming along and being really good sports. I know what we asked you to do is a little bit terrifying. You all done a great job. <laughs> and the idea really was just for it to be fun and to give you the opportunity to engage with the topic and to meet each other. I think that's like having gone through the years of online conferences, it's really nice to be able to meet each other in person and to meet new people and to have a good time and to explore the topic together like that. Um, yeah, and it's really great that so many people come along. Really great. Okay. Yeah. Well, more fun than I will check the price of the all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would you like to? Yeah. 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 We're available to give additional commentary. Uh, <laughs> uh, colleagues, uh, thank you so much for your patience. Uh, it has been very difficult. I'm the number one. So, briefly, let's share with you some of the critical elements that we're also analyzing. I uh, wanted to appreciate in terms of the, the target group or the target market of the business of the proposal, uh, the type of equipment uh, that the, uh, these businesses were looking for and a way to use as an investor. You know, I would want again to go with the low cost because you know my resource, our resource improve is not all that much. We wanted also to appreciate in terms of their marketing strategy, but also how they intend to scale uh, their service. So, ladies and gentlemen, 
uh, it wasn't easy. Uh, we now would like to announce the best. <laughs> <laughs> so, number one. <laughs> I'll give it to my colleague. Yeah. <laughs> Coming in in fourth place with honorable mentions is uh, Bionjo. The presentation <laughs> of your technology and, um, and an interesting approach to uh, driving demand. Uh, in in third place, we have uh, the. Uh, Kampala uh, Incubator, we might call you, Group 3, uh, <laughs> that we really appreciated your strategy. However, we did not see a strong opportunity for returns because we saw the way that you were going to give money to other people, which is great. <laughs> it didn't exactly uh, show us the returns we were looking for. Um, in second place, we have Rise Blantyre. Um, and would you like to share what we liked about their proposal? Yeah, uh, with uh, Blanche again, we they were very clear uh, in terms of the market size. So they said they've reached twenty percent, and they were clear in the next two years, three years, this is what we want to achieve. Of thought that was also powerful. So as an investor, we we thought even the community were excited. It's okay, these guys have a clear strategy on how they intend to reach. Uh, and uh, the winner. Is the feature <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. So, Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Would like to present the prize to the to the winner. I don't know who is going to. <laughs> Would you present? Would you represent them? I think uh, you need to. <laughs> Thank you. Perhaps, yeah, group number four can change. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Is anybody in the room now, Rich? Sure. Yeah. 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 Mystery of the MD. <laughs> Martin, you'll take us to Kampala. Really? They did not I know. I know. I I know. I know. I I know. I know. I Okay. But I feel like our like, yeah. like I was like, you're not allowed to. Like, 
Well, she and I were in our like freshman year together. Yeah, we together. Yeah, but I feel like that's why I spent like, like, like freshman year being friends and then the rest of college being like, you love me so much. I never. Yes, it's so wonderful. I was like at like our reunion. I'm now like able to 